Hey guys, welcome back to the Mountain Bike Shed. Uh, today I'm going to go through some Maxxis tires with you. So we typically do order openings uh, to show you guys what customers are buying, um, things we're actually bringing in the shop to help you make your decisions. Um, and we sold out of Maxxis Minion tires. It is winter time here in the Midwest, so tires um, are getting changed out from maybe the faster, drier condition summer tires like a Recon um, to Minion. So we sold through them, and I'm going to show you a couple of different options that you have. I've got DHFs and DHRs here. Uh, DHRs are going to be ran on the rear. Occasionally people will run a DHF on the rear as well, um, but we'll kind of go through maybe why you would not want to do that. Um, and then we'll go through different compounds and sidewalls and fun stuff like that. Uh, first things first, so I'm going to run you through the tires that we have here and we're going to get them all weighed up. So this will give you an interesting look on, on what's, what's to come. So this first tire here is a Minion DHF, 29, 2.6, 120 thread per inch. Uh, this is a 3C Max Terra EXO, standard EXO sidewall. We only carry EXO sidewalls here in the shed. Um, so this is going to weigh 1,094 grams. That's a 2926 EHF, 1,094 grams with the packaging. Um, the next tire here, Minion DHF. This is going to be a 29 by 25 uh, with a standard EXO sidewall, but this is going to be a dual compound tire. So we lack that 3C marking. This is going to be a dual compound, basically the same tire but dual compound and it's 1134. So about hundred grams heavier in dual compound, even though it is slightly smaller. And I'll show you guys the difference. It's really not much. Um, we've got the two five here at the bottom and then the two six up top and size wise slight, but not much. So. All right, we've also got a Minion. Now we're jumping to the DHRs. This is a DHR 2.6. This is triple compound, so 3C. Uh, this has got the EXO Plus sidewall, so a little bit extra protection. We'll go in what that means. Um, obviously, it's tubeless ready. And this tire is going to weigh 1,224 grams. Uh, the last tire we're going to look at today uh, to kind of give you guys a general overview of your Minion DHR or DHR and DHF um, is going to be the 29. This is a 2.4 3C max grip this time, uh, and this is a double down tire. So we bring this one in for guys who are going to be riding at Shepherd, uh, maybe a little bit steeper um, descents, a little bit rougher terrain. Uh, they're going to get double down protection as well as max grip. Um, and this tire and a 2.4 is 1244. So only 20 grams heavier yet it's um, you know a 2.4 instead of a 2.6. Um, so Maxxis has a lot of different ways to judge tires. Again, we only carry Maxxis tires in the shop. I think it's a really big, really nice upgrade you can do for your bike. Um, you've got the DHR and you've got the DHF. So let's throw these on the screen and I'll show you the difference between our tread patterns. Get the scale out of here. So we've got a DHF and a DHR here. If you look at your DHR, you're going to see these, these center treads, these center lugs um, are spaced out on our DHF, but on our DHR, move this all over a little bit more on our DHR they're going to be basically every other one um, is going to be right next to each other a little bit more gap here um, and then really close together again these are what we call braking knobs braking knobs are going to kind of take some vibration out of the rear wheel as you brake if you put a DHF on the rear um, these kind of are spaced out and you can see how they just kind of wiggle around I don't know if you guys can see that, but you can see how much play and movement we have. So you can imagine if you're braking hard, that's going to be, cause some shaking and vibration in the bike. Um, with having that gap there, it does allow clearing mud better. It does allow a little bit better grip in, in, in the soil. Um, so, you know, not the worst thing in the world, but that's why it makes a great front tire. Whereas we're going to have the really close together, maybe not quite as grippy 
um, and the turns and whatnot um, on the back, but we're gonna have these great braking knobs that's gonna help keep our bike in control. And these front lugs are gonna dig in and make sure our front wheel stays planted and turns and we don't wash out. So that's really important. Um, the next thing to look at is EXO. EXO versus EXO Plus. So EXO is, that's the minimum we carry here in the shop. You don't have to get a tire with EXO, but we have a lot of limestone here, um, a lot of kind of tighter trails. So people tend to slash their sidewalls a lot. These EXO tires um, are gonna have a plastic liner here in the side. So that plastic liner is gonna help prevent against sidewall tears. It's also gonna add some stiffness and stability, giving you better control at faster speeds. EXO Plus also has that plastic liner in the sidewall. Then it has something called Silk Shield. Silk Shield is a technology by Maxis. It's basically like a fabric uh, that goes from edge to edge. Um, so it's a woven fabric that goes all the way across the tire. That's really nice to have. That again is gonna help prevent against punctures throughout. Um, and be really helpful. So get the EXO. If you're just worried about your sidewalls, that's what we carry here in shopping and recommend to customers. You're gonna pay a little bit of a weight penalty to add that silk shield in for the EXO Plus. But if you're in an area that maybe has a lot of thorns or a lot of punctures that you might get in your actual tread, um, then the EXO Plus would be a good idea for you. Um, here in the Midwest, we don't have a lot of pokey things on our trail. So we get away with just having the EXO and saving some weight there. So another thing to consider as well is you're going to see the other big decision you'll have to make with your tires is uh, do I want triple compound? So do I want this 3C, um, so triple compound, or do I want um, nothing here, which is just going to be your dual compound? So a dual compound tire is going to be softer down the middle, and it's, or it's softer on the, the outside lugs um, and harder down the middle. That's very nice. Um, on the 3C, we're actually going to have um, one firmness of rubber as a base layer, and then on top of that layer, we'll have the soft on the middle and the harder layer, uh, or soft on the outside and harder layer down the middle. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Also, when you go from a dual compound tire to your triple compound tire, these triple compound tires are going to be 120 thread per inch opposed to uh, 60 thread per inch here. That's also going to happen when you go up to a silk shield tire. Um, but the difference in that, again, uh, the tire is going to be lighter, first off, um, about 100 grams lighter, um, you know, on each tire. And then uh, the, the feel of the bike is going to change too. So you can really notice the difference between a 3C tire um, and a dual compound. The 3C is just going to be a little bit more supple. Um, you're going to feel the bike kind of, you're going to feel the tire going with you a little bit. It's going to want to get into that action a little bit faster. It's something you got to kind of ride to feel the difference in, uh, but definitely worthwhile to jump into a 3C tire. Now, the other thing, there's, it, once we get into 3Cs, now we have even more decisions to make um, because, so I'll get you guys up close here. Um, so we're going to have either Max Terra, which is the middle compound, Max Grip, which is going to be the softest compound. Oh, and Double Down um, is going to have that layer all the way across. It's going to be very heavy. Um, it's going to provide for a lot stiffer tire. Um, so people who do aggressive riding ride double downs. They may also opt for max grip because they want to get maximum traction uh, when they're going downhill. Um, so the max grip can help provide that. Max grip is going to be the softest of the three C compounds. Um, it's going to have the softest base layer, the softest center tread, and the softest side, side lugs. The Max Terra is one step a little bit harder than that. This is what we typically will carry here in store. Obviously for our double down customers, um, they know that if they're riding hard and aggressively on really rocky terrain, this tire might only last a couple weekends, um, depending on their riding style, but if they're aggressive, um, you know, so Max Grip makes sense for a double down tire and being in a 2.4 also makes sense. 
um, for just kind of your general riding around tire, something you're going to ride typical trails with, Max Terra is the way to go. That's going to be the in-between Max Grip and then a Max Speed tire. Max Speed tire is going to be the hardest of all the tire compounds. Uh, so the hardest on the center tread, the hardest on the outside lugs, and the hardest base layer. Um, when we go to Max Terra, it's going to be that kind of compromise between Max Grip. So we're going to have a medium base layer, a little bit softer um, center tread than the Max Speed. Um, and then softer side knobs in the max speed, but um, a little bit harder. So the, this tire compound is going to hold up better than the max grip, last a little bit longer. Again, that's why we carry Max Terra in store. So if I were to recommend the perfect tire, I'd say get the biggest tire your bike will fit. Um, so two sixes, maybe even two fives if you want to feel a little bit poppier out there. Um, get an EXO sidewall if you're riding in the desert or you have a lot of prickly things, get EXO plus. Uh, do a triple compound max tire that's going to last you the longest. So, um, yeah, get a Maxxis tire. It's a big upgrade for your bike. If you have anything else, then getting a Maxxis tire on there is going to change the feel. There's a reason why uh, Maxxis is the name and bike tires, you know. I'm sure, you know, people... We'll talk about Vittoria, people will talk about Continental, Goodyear, or whatever, um, but there's a reason why they all talk like, oh, this is also a great tire. They're all comparing to Maxxis. They're all trying to copy this tread pattern. Um, Maxxis is the way to go. So yeah, tune in, subscribe. We have other videos on other stuff that's coming into the shop, but I thought it would be a good idea to run you guys through that a little bit. Appreciate it.